What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome to a Dungeon Defenders 2 Beginner's Guide and Tutorial Series. This series will be in really no specific order as new topics will come up, but I will try to get it organized after release into a much more complete and timely playlist. As changes take place between now and release, I will do my best to update this series and make sure that the playlist is always current. This series will be played on the PC, however most of these topics will very easily transfer over to the PS4 with just a few different controls. If there's anything at all that you'd like more information on, or something that you struggled with as a beginner, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to make it a topic in this series. Without further ado, let's get started. Today we're going to take a quick moment and just take a look at the UI and the things that are available, the information that's available to us on screen. Uh, so first off, if we take a look at where we're at right now, and we'll start start off in the top left hand corner. The, the top left is actually, obviously, that's you. Uh, the red bar is your health bar and how much health you have left, and it shows what level we are as we're level 50. Now, if we move on over to the top right of the screen, this is going to be the wave counter. Uh, as you see, it's one of seven, so I'm about to start wave one, and there's seven waves on this map. And then also the mob counter. The mob counter is going to show you how many bads you have coming at you, and how many are left throughout the course of a map. Uh, directly below that, we see the mini-map, and you see my little monk icon running around on the mini-map. It's very important that you get used to using the mini-maps, because it also displays the mobs as well and will give you indicators for any defenses you've placed down to give you a good idea on where you're at in your build and what you have to have left to do on each in particular map. Now directly below that you see the little uh, yellow greenish bar with the castle icon and you see every time I lay down a defense that is going up. What that is is your defense units. Uh, you will hear people lovingly refer to them as DU, including myself. DU stands for Defense Units. Now, each map is going to be different. The amount of green mana you have to lay down abilities is not going to always be the same as the amount of defense units you have. As we see here, this uh, ridiculous little aura field has used up 660 of 1,250 available defense units. Now, I've only got 340 green mana left, so you actually can't build out all of your defenses on this map before a wave. You have to go multiple waves and collect up more green mana. Now, it's the opposite on other maps. Sometimes you'll have more than what's required, and you'll be able to throw in an upgrade or two on your defenses that are available. Now down at the bottom, of course, we have the action bar. Uh, the blue bar is going to be your blue mana, and that's going to be used up whenever you use one of your abilities. Uh, you see directly below the blue bar, that's all the abilities you have available, plus the blue mana cost for getting those done. Now over on the green side, that of course is your defenses. Uh, the green is your, your uh, defensive mana that you're going to use to upgrade, repair, or place any of your defenses. Below that, of course, is all the defenses that are available and the amount of green mana that each one costs. And last but not least, all the way to the bottom left of the action bar, we have our pet icon. Now, once you level your pet to, to 10, your pet and evolve them, of course, your pet is going to earn a special ability. Uh, depending on what the ability is, they have varying cooldowns and it's displayed right there in that bar. Hope, hope, hope this helps everyone understand exactly what kind of information is available to them on screen and it's important to use this information particularly once you get into the higher nightmare levels we'll see you thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video click that like button and mash this big j over here to subscribe to the channel thanks again we'll see you soon